By the second month of COVID-19 hitting the U.S., so-called scientists, politicians, public figures, and news media were already combining climate change with COVID. It was in every headline, on every website, and most of us knew where this was headed. But it's about far more than all of the climate initiatives and COVID restrictions. Yes, those are in place to control and surveil. But while the public is hypnotized with headlines of impending climate and COVID doom, the biggest engineered transfer of wealth the world has ever witnessed is transpiring. Against the backdrop of the COVID-19 event, the designers of this great financial reset put every piece of the puzzle in place, knowing there would be a massive and sudden transfer of wealth from a sick and dying elderly population to the millennial population, a population they have entrained to accept this new financial system of enslavement without question. If you think this reset will just affect the Federal Reserve, the Treasury, or Wall Street, think again. This affects every one of us. Your bank account, your credit score, your mortgage, your car loan, your business, and your livelihood. In this report by CoreysDiggs.com, you will see how the financial takeover is happening, driven by the World Economic Forum, the World Bank, and the UN, engineered by BlackRock, which manages more than $7.8 trillion in other people's assets, making it the largest money manager in the world. It is in the top three shareholder positions in every major company and industry and has positioned itself in three high-ranking positions in the White House. It's no surprise that BlackRock and the White House have a revolving door through the Clinton, Obama, and Biden administrations and were enlisted by the Federal Reserve to direct three of its bond buying programs. They are the designer of the Going Direct Reset under the guise of financial wellness and climate-related financial risk. They have shifted the financial landscape into a streamlined system of surveillance and control. Through a new social and climate scoring system, BlackRock CEO Larry Fink, who was appointed to join the World Economic Forum Board of Trustees has used BlackRock's unmatched leverage to strong arm global banking and industry leaders into compliance with this new green financial system. And 450 top banks in the world have pledged their allegiance, aligning their financial decisions with the Paris Climate Agreement. With BlackRock, as the designer of this global financial undertaking, a framework of financial control and surveillance was set in place. BlackRock's equity stake purchase of and partnership with InvestNet, the owner of Yodley, has enabled access to one of the largest financial aggregator frameworks on the planet. Yodley also happens to sell your data. InvestNet works with 17 of the top 20 banks, along with 50 to 100 other banks, financial institutions, and companies. They serve 4.8 trillion in assets and service 500 million aggregated accounts each day. In the year following BlackRock's partnership with InvestNet, the CEO and his wife died in a fatal car crash. Just a few months later, three Democrats filed for an FTC investigation into InvestNet and Yodley, which essentially forced InvestNet into compliance with their plans. Now, with the social and climate scoring framework in place, 
financial institutions are categorizing your funds with clever insights on your bank accounts dashboard, collecting and sharing your private data, tracking your financial climate footprint, and assigning sustainability scores to investments, all of which the Biden administration under BlackRock plans to funnel to the IRS. Under their climate scoring system, residential mortgages, commercial real estate, business lending, project financing, and auto loans will be affected. If you have a low climate credit score, will you be able to get a loan? Will you be able to access your hard earned money? This is a call to action. Read and share this report on coreysdigs.com. Then check your bank account and find out exactly what third parties are wrapped up in your accounts. This isn't just about spying on and aggregating your data. This is a structural setup to move us into their social and climate scoring system. If millions of people stood up to the tyranny, challenged their so-called authority, and stopped funding the big guys, we would see a visible change. This is what must happen to slow the pace of their planned financial takeover, in which if you do nothing now, you will own nothing later.